Right, the Sea Cheetah, Catamarans. Um, very nice boats, good for sea angling, and this one's for commercial fishing. Uh, this is a crab part, this one. So they have a very wide beam. Apparently they have a low centre of gravity and stability in all weather conditions. And all models operation is apparently quite excellent. Um, typical inclination angles from the vertical at three or four degrees when all the crew and passengers are standing on one side. Um, so it's certainly going to tip over, I would imagine. Um, we've got large amounts of deck space. Um, there's loads and loads of, loads of space on these um, for your anglers or with your crab pot. Um, it's very stable deck. Excellent weight carrying capacity, apparently. Um, and it's super, super for you know, a wide range of uses, uh, mainly commercial, you know, leisure or angling or crab potting and things like that. It's got good safety, um, sealed, self-draining deck, excellent stability with twin engines. Um, the cheetah is easy to handle and an incredibly safe vessel. Advanced construction techniques and high-tech materials built into a commercially proven hull design ensure peace of mind, whatever the application. Uh, it's got a shallow draft and low hull resistance of all cheetahs means that planing speeds are reached easily with little or no hump resistance. This gives the cheetah the ability to cruise in calm or rough weather at intermediate speeds. A disadvantage of this type of hull, I would say, if in, in a head sea it would slam quite a bit, so you'd have to reduce the speed or you wouldn't be able to go out in it, but in following seas and side-on seas, it would be pretty damn good. <laughs> Looks like this one is a bit of a bandy valve there. This one's just a beach launch one. It's got some pretty severe scuff marks from trying to get the boat back on the trailer and sort of choppy breakers. Um, so yeah, it's designed with comfort. Unique hull design ensures comfortable ride at high speeds in moderate seas. Inbuilt spray rails ensure that the water is deflected from the outer chine, keeping the deck dry in rough conditions. Inner chines deflect water from the bridge deck, creating a cushion of air and water inside the tunnel and a very soft ride. Um, so fuel economy apparently is quite good. Speed and quietness uh, have been designed into the Cheetah twin 90s. Uh, apparently the 9.95 meter will reach 20 knots, 23 knots to maintain 15 knots with a 1500 kg load on board. So fuel consumption with those um, mixed speeds varies at 4 to 9 litres per hour. That's got um, rough water stability um, designed with the, that kind of sea handling in mind. A cushion of water and air forms in the tunnel giving lift and a soft ride in head seas. The high volume bows and lift generated from the symmetrical bow section give excellent following sea handling. Surfing in such conditions is both comfortable and safe. This counterbalance lift created in the tunnel allows the use of lower powered engines to achieve the same speed as in a mono hull, the same size. And that reduces the capital and fuel costs. And um, twin holes ensure the cheetah will sit level when beaching. Self-draining deck offers additional safety when beaching in the surf. Rocker in forward sections of each keel allow the captain to slide further up the beach, providing a safer landing. Yeah, all in all, um, expensive boats, um, but yeah, um, pretty fabulous design there, really. Um, I wish I had one. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you're looking at a lot of money there, something like that. You're probably looking at 70, 80,000 pounds, I would imagine. Um, maybe more. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Peace and out.